Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about definite integral. This is the first video na gagawin natin yung topic na definite integration. Kasi ang karamihan ng mga videos natin ay nakafocus sa indefinite integral. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So meron tayo ritong form in which we have the integral of f of x dx from a to b. So dito guys, baka manibago kayo kasi meron na kayo nakikita ang a and b. Yung a natin is the lower limit and b is the upper limit in which when it comes to definite integral, after natin makuha yung integral ng function na to, ito yung magiging sagot natin and we will evaluate it using the limits a and b. And then ito yung magiging function natin, ito yung magiging format natin. Yung integral na to, input natin yung ating upper limit which is f of b at yung integral nito which is f of x ito siya kung mapansin nyo input natin yung atin lower limit sasagot natin sa integral so para mas maintindihan nyo yung ibig ko sabihin let's have example number 1 in number 1 as you can see kung mag-focus lang tayo dito to integrate that gagamitin natin yung power rule remember sa power rule natin meron tayong x raised to n dx. Kapag kinuha mo integral na ito, it will give you x raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Siya nga pala guys, baka manibago din kayo na wala na tayong arbitrary constant para sa definite integral. Okay? So let's start with item number 1. For number 1, we have the integral of x dx from 2 to 4. Yung ating lower limit is 2, yung ating upper limit is 4. So, kung gagawin natin dito, we have x raised to 1 plus 1 dahil meron tayo dito invisible 1 as an exponent over 1 plus 1 following this pattern. And then, lagyan natin dito lower limit of 2, upper limit of 4. So, gagawin natin dito guys, simplify natin to, it will give us x raised to 2 over 2 lagyan natin ating limits we have 2 to 4 so after natin makuha yung integral nitong given function natin evaluate na natin guys so what will happen is we will follow the format nadandahanin ko lang guys para hindi kayo malito we will follow this format in which kunin natin to we have x squared over 2 tapos minus x squared over 2 ganito yung mangyayari guys yung ating upper limit ay i-input natin dito yung ating lower limit ay magiging input nito so let's simplify and evaluate this so we have now 4 squared over 2 minus 2 squared over 2 when we simplify them, it will give us 16 over 2 minus 4 over 2. Na kapag tinuloy natin ito, ito ay magiging 8 minus 2. Okay? And finally, yung sagot na natin for this is simply 6. Galong siya ka simple guys. Medyo magulo para sa mga baguhan, para sa definite integral. Pero once na master niyo yung basics na to, yung step-by-step -step process na to, hindi na kayo mahihirapan dito. First, ano muna tayo? Recall muna natin. Kunin muna natin yung integral na to. Then after that, we will evaluate it using the upper limit and the lower limit. So let's continue. For item number 2, we are given here the integral of x cubed dx with the lower limit of 2, upper limit of 4. So, kunin natin yung ating integral gamit yung power rule. So, what will happen is that we will have here x cubed plus 1 over 3 plus 1 from 2 to 4. So, simplify lang natin. As you can see, ito ay magiging x to the 4th power over 4 and I think we're ready to evaluate this. Okay? Evaluate natin in which x to the 4th power 
over 2 minus x to the 4th power, ah, sorry, this is 4, over 4. Again, let me remind you na input natin dito yung ating upper limit at dito naman mapupunta yung ating lower limit. So, what will happen is that it will become 4 raised to the 4th power over 4 minus 2 to the 4th power over 4. So, pasimple natin ng konti guys. Alam naman natin na we can simplify this by eliminating 4 at yung isa nito, mag-minus tayo ng 1. Magiging 3 na lang siya. So, we can have 4 cube, 4 cube na lang. Okay? Kasi 4 raised to 1 to guys, 4 raised to 1. We have 4 cube. At para naman dito, we have minus, dito natin lagay sa baba. We have 4 cube minus, itong 2 to the 4th power natin, itong 4 natin, is actually, yung 4 natin guys, ano siya eh? 4 is equal to 2 squared. So, pwede natin siyang ganun gawin. Bubarayin ko lang to. Magiging 2 squared siya. Subtract natin yung ating exponent. Cancel. Ito yung magiging minus 2. So, magiging 2 na lang siya. So, we have 4 cubed minus 2 squared. So, what will happen? Simplify natin to. We have 4 cubed is simply 64 minus itong ating 4 squared. That is 4. And finally, Subtracting these numbers, we can have 60 as our answer. Ganun lang siya simple, guys. Now, let's move on with item number 3. For item number 3, medyo mahaba, pero kaya naman natin makuha yung integral nito. Una, we have here the integral of x cubed, uh, 8x cubed plus 3x squared plus 6x dx with the lower limit of 2 and upper limit of 3. Now, kung natin yung kanyang definite integral, so, what will happen? Diretso na natin guys ha. Since meron tayong constant 8 dito, ilabas natin yung 8. Okay? Tapos, integral of x cubed dx plus, ah wait lang, may kulang tayo. Meron dapat tayo ditong upper limit na 3 sa lower limit na 2. Tapos, x cubed dx. And then, dito naman, plus 3, ilabas natin constant. And coefficient, we have 3 to 2, or 2 to 3, x squared dx plus 6 from 2 to 3, x dx. Okay. So, kunin natin kanyang integral. So, what will happen here? Ay, ito. Ito na tayo maglagay. Yung 8 natin, ay, dito na tayo sa next na to. Yung ating 8 times, focus tayo rito. We have this one, x cubed plus 1 over 3 plus 1. And then, plus, Ito naman, 3 times x squared, focus tayo dito, plus 1 over 2 plus 1, plus 6 times x raised to 1, meron tayo invisible 1 dito, plus 1 over 1 plus 1, tapos, I-group lang natin ito. Lagyan natin dito ng lower limit na 2, upper limit na 3. So, simplify natin to guys. Medyo mahaba na ating solution kasi inupleto ko pala siya, guys. So, dito, alam naman natin na ito ay maging 8 times x to the 4th power over 4 plus 3 times x cubed over 3 plus 6 x squared over 2. Okay? Now, we can cancel this and this magiging 2 siya. Cancel, 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 magiging 3. So, we can have 
2 x to the fourth power plus x cubed plus 3 x squared. Tapos, kunin natin kanyang lower limit na 2, upper limit na 3. So, ito na. Okay na tayo dito. Pwede natin siyang evaluate. So, evaluate na natin siya. Dito na next solution natin, guys. Ha? Medyo masikip. And dito na tayo sa taas pala. Sorry. Dito na tayo. So, subukan natin dito. So, what will happen is that we have this. Ito na tayo, ha. Copyin ko lang. Ay, kukulangin natin tayo ng space. Lipat tayo ng konti, guys. Meron na itong nasulat dito. Sige, lipat ko na lang itong given natin dito ng amin. So, burahin ko muna itong given natin. So, we can continue. Okay. So, for number 3, ay na nga. Follow natin yung pattern natin. Ito muna. This is 3. Okay. So, yun natin. We have here 2x to the 4th power. Direction na natin, guys. Ha? 2 raised to, ah, uh, 2 times 3 raised to the 4th power plus 3 raised to 3 plus 3 times 3 squared. So, kung lagyan ito ng, ano, ng grouping symbol, minus Ito naman mag input natin yung lower limit natin. This is 2 times 2 raised to the 4th power. Dito na tayo. Plus 2 raised to the 3rd power. Plus 3 times 2 raised to the 2nd power. So simplify lang natin to guys. We have here 2 times yung 3 raised to the 4th power natin, that is 81, okay? Plus, ito naman, 27, plus 3 times 9, minus 2 times 16, dahil yung 2 to the 4th power 16, plus 8, plus 3 times 4. So, simplify pa rin natin. This is 81 times 2. That is 162. Tama. Plus 27. Plus 27. Minus 2 times 16. That is 32. Plus 8. Plus 12. Okay? Simplify natin to. 162 plus 54 that is 100 108 so we have here 108 minus ito naman 32 plus ano, plus 8 is 40 plus 52 that is uh, plus, plus 12 that is minus 52 so all we need to do is to subtract 108 by 52. So we have here 6. Magiging 10 to. Magiging 0. So we have here 56. So our answer here is simply 56. Ito yung mismo sagot natin guys. Okay? So hanggang number 3 na lang muna tayo. We will upload our next example gamit yung 4th our next video, gamit yung fourth example natin kanina. So, I hope kayo sinakuha nyo yung step-by-step -step process on how to do definite integral. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!